I now invite the parents and godparents to come forward and to bring those uh, who have come today to be baptized. Come on up, come on up. <laughs> so then I will invite you to stand at a certain point, not just yet. Uh, when we all reaffirm our baptismal vows. So we begin. The candidates for holy baptism will now be presented. We present, we present Isabella, Rosa, Analia, Jeffers to receive the sacrament of baptism. We present Harmony, Snow, Kelly, to Sacrament of baptism. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is nurtured in the faith and life of the Christian community? I will with God's help. Okay. Right. So we continue then on page 153. And I will ask the question once again. Will you be responsible for seeing that the child you present is nurtured in faith and the faith and the life of the Christian community. Will you, by your prayers and witness, help these children to grow into the full stature of Christ? I will, with God's help. And these questions I ask of the parents and godparents who answer on behalf of the little ones by virtue of their who by virtue of their infancy cannot answer for themselves. Do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your Savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to obey him as your Lord? I do. These questions we ask as an invitation for our parents and godparents to examine and renew their own life of faith and whether they have what it takes to support a little one in their own journey of faith. At the top of page 155, congregation, please stand. And this question is a question of support. We expect, we anticipate that the answer will be, we will but please respond if this is indeed your will. Will you who witness these vows do all in your power to support these children in their life in Christ? We will. Let us now pray for those who are to receive the sacrament of new birth.
Deliver them, O oh Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, hear our prayer. Open their hearts to your grace and the truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill them with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Teach them to love others in the power of the Spirit. Lord, hear our prayer. Send them into the world in witness to your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Bring them to the fullness of your peace and the glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Grant, O oh Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. 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 Oh, Bella, look at this. Watch this. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is, is right, right to give our thanks and praise. praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over water, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through water, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt into the land of promise. In water, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, Father, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into his fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who are here cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. To him, to you and to the Holy Spirit, be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. To the congregation, let us now join with those who are committing themselves to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again, he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in God, the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? 
I will with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil? And whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord. I will with God's help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I will with God's help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I will with God's help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people and respect the dignity of every human being? I will with God's help. Will you strive to safeguard the integrity of God's creation and respect, sustain, and renew the life of the earth? I will, I will with, with God's, God's help. help. play in the water. We get to play in the water. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around. Look up at the ceiling. Look up at the ceiling. Look up at the ceiling. Look at the light. I baptize you in the name of the Father ah, and of the Son. Feels lovely. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I sign you with the cross and mark you as Christ's own forever. Yes, water. lost my touch. <laughs> I sign you with the cross and mark you as Christ's own Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit, you have bestowed upon these, your servants, the forgiveness of sin and have raised them to the new life of grace. Sustain them, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give them an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, the spirit to know and love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Yes. to show that you have passed from darkness to light. Let your light so shine before others that they may see your good works 
and glorify your Father in heaven. Friends, let us welcome the newly baptized. We receive you into the household of God. Confess the faith of Christ crucified. Proclaim his resurrection and share with us in his eternal priesthood. Friends, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please exchange a sign of peace to your neighbors. Peace and peace to everybody.